Let's now go ahead and talk about the MSI RTX 2060 Ventus that was launched in France. And this is coming from videocars.net and we'll talk a little bit here about the 2060 as well, just in general. So NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, 12 gigabyte on sale in France. Although RTX 2060, 12 gigabyte is to launch officially tomorrow, which will be December 7th, the first retailers have already started listing the new card. The MSI RTX 2060 Ventus 12 gigabyte overclock listing might be a placeholder. One of them, contrary to the product title, mentioned six gigabyte of RAM, which suggests one could simply have copied the specs from the original six gigabyte model, probably. It is not entirely obvious why, but the same card is actually listed twice on the PC21 website. Both listings have different prices. The card is already available for pre-order at 528 to 645 euro with VAT. For comparison, the MSI RTX 2060 Super Ventus is listed in the same store at 536 and 652 euro respectively. So if we're going to make any guesses on the new model is cheaper than the Super, uh, it looks like not. MSI already offers two RTX 2066 gigabyte models based on Ventus series, the original Ventus and the Ventus XS, both offering slightly different cooling designs to make things even more confusing. There is a GP variant for the super refresh. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 12 gigabyte is to officially launch tomorrow. NVIDIA has not communicated the MSRP for this car card, but judging by the official statement, NVIDIA may very well not provide any. It will be totally up to the AIB retailers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the official statement here. So we do have basically some sort of confirmation that we should be seeing these populate tomorrow uh, on the 7th. So if you're interested in picking one up, it could be an interesting model. Is it going to have light hash rate? I don't know. That's going to be the big question here because basically they're they're just using old parts and adding some more memory right some with some tweaks we'll get into the specifications here you are getting some more cuda cores on the 12 gigabyte model and uh, that's going to be important for the gaming portion but does that really translate into mining are they going to be implementing light hash rate locks into these cards is it really worth it at this point if they're just kind of basically bumping up the amount of cores and getting a little more horsepower out of the 2060. This is a really interesting launch. Obviously a lot of the stuff uh, that they've been re-releasing in the CMP range has been basically utilizing these as well. So it seems like they have an overstock of these, uh, you know, 2000 series GPUs that they're trying to get rid of in any form and fashion which to me would say it would be a really stupid idea to put a light hash rate unlock on basically what you are trying to get rid of, right? If this is basically just trying to get rid of old stock, right? It's new old stock. Then I don't think from a marketing standpoint or from a sales standpoint, you would even bother with putting essentially some sort of light hash rate unlock on it. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. It just seemed like, it seems like to me it would be weird. Maybe we'll get some better ideas in here and see if it is. I haven't actually looked to, at these specifications yet. Maybe you guys in chat already know. But the webpage update confirmed that the card features 2,176 CUDA cores. So that's compared to the 1920 of the previous 2060. Uh, and is essentially an RTX 2060 Super with lower memory bandwidth. It even has the same clock speeds. So we are looking at something that will perform worse than the 2060 Super in mining because of the lower memory bandwidth, presumably. In our original reporting, this is from videocars.net, they say, we concluded that the existence of NVIDIA's own design is good news because customers will have a chance to buy the card at MSRP, either through NVIDIA's own web store or through select retail partners. An AIB launch only would mean that MSRP might be a pipe dream as soon as AIB margins and retail overcharged are included in the final price. Unfortunately, it appears that the listing of the Founders Edition was a mistake as NVIDIA has already removed this information from the website. 
Tech Power Up has confirmed with their sources at Board Partners that their cards will indeed be the only version of the 2060 12 gigabytes. So we're not going to be see, seeing a Founders Edition here. Quote, NVIDIA has updated their website to remove the Founders Edition, blah, blah, blah. We already read that. NVIDIA RTX 2060 12 gigabyte is officially, officially launching on December 7th. We did cover that as well. So here's the, the specifications kind of side by side. The 2060 Super on the left, the 12 gigabyte in the middle, and the OG on the right here. Those are really the ones we're kind of looking at. And the boost clock is saying, they're saying it's the same, but I believe what we're reading is that is going to be a little bit higher. Also, we have to take into account that the AIB board models are going to be different, right? So there you go. Here's where we see a change. The the kind of the good thing about the 2060 Super is that you have a 256-bit bus, while on the original on the 2060 it has 192-bit, and then on the Turing it has, uh, or sorry, on the on the 12 gigabyte model it's a 192-bit bus as well with the exact same memory speeds, 336 gigabytes per second. It does have a higher uh, TDP, so. We don't really know exactly what this is going to cost. Hopefully it won't be $399, but it does feel like it would be $399. If you wanted mining performance, I mean, we could probably just hop into here and like literally look at a 2060 and get an idea, right? Uh, because it's essentially the same thing as far as from a memory perspective. So you're looking at $1.62 uh, per day on Ethereum right now as we sit more than likely for this particular GPU, you would still, you know, hopefully go to a 2060 Super. There could be some good trade deals that you could get or work with some people, uh, like a 2060 Super. Let's go ahead and look at a 2060 Super. Do they even have those up here right now? I don't think they do. Yeah, they don't have a 2060 Super. I'd probably have to go look at Miner Stat. Oh, what are they saying those are getting? Right, so those are like 38 mega hash a second while these are like 30 mega hash a second. So, I mean, if I'm playing the super hardcore game, maybe I'm trying to trade people 12 gigabyte models for supers. I don't know that anybody would do that, but it's a possibility. It's a possibility. So there you go, guys. We have covered the two uh, hottest topics for GPUs and what we think they may do on mining. Nothing too exciting. Is there a light hash rate unlocked for the 2060? Or will there need to be, I guess? I don't know yet, but there you go. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.